Four years ago, I fell into the productivity apps rabbit hole and my goal was clear. I wanted the perfect setup to organize my days, notes, and projects. It all started with Notion. I got obsessed with it, watched every tutorial, tested every feature, and it actually helped me. But after years using it, something felt off. I started feeling like Notion was missing a few key features I really needed. And that's when I found Obsidian last year. It was intimidating at first because I didn't fully understand how the notes worked with the graph view and all the plugins, but I saw incredible potential in it. And after a full year of using Obsidian, I know which app will be best for you. So which one should you choose? In this video, you'll learn the main differences between Notion and Obsidian and which one I'm currently using and why. Okay, so let's start. So if you're looking for a beginner friendly app, Notion's probably the better fit for you. It's visual, intuitive, even if you've never used a productivity app before because there are hundreds of templates free to use. Obsidian, on the other hand, feels more like a blank canvas. Powerful, but a little intimidating at first because you have to download all the plugins and set it up yourself. So that's why Notion wins here on the ease of use. But what if you actually want to customize every single thing of the app, like the themes, the fonts, and the interface in general? In that case, I would strongly recommend you to try Obsidian. Because in Notion, yeah, you can customize like the databases and things like that, or maybe a few fonts and colors. But the reality is that you can customize a lot of things in Obsidian that you just couldn't do in Notion. And now, this is one of the reasons why I switched to Obsidian last year, which are the plugins. There are just so many of them. So when it comes to plugins, Obsidian wins here because Notion doesn't support them. And there are thousands of plugins. Just to give you some examples of them, you have annotator to take notes and highlights from PDFs, list callouts to make these callouts instead of using these ones, Scully draw for creating canvases and adding them to your notes, or even being able to add notes within the canvas to link them together, even though Obsidian already has its own, but I'm not a big fan of it. You also have global hotkeys to use hotkeys outside from the app and still being able to use them. And talking about hotkeys, this is also one of the reasons why I switched to Obsidian last year. So let's say I want to create a note. I have two different options to create them fast. So the first option is to press the key that I have in my numpad and as you can see the notes created and here I can just write whatever I want. And the second option is pressing another key and it shows me a list of all the topics that I have notes on. I just pick one and the note gets saved automatically in the right folder with the right tag as you can see. These are just a couple of shortcuts I've set up but honestly you can create a shortcut for almost pretty much everything you want. So that means that Obsidian wins here. I'm gonna remove this but there's also another way to create notes which are web clippers where you basically have an extension in your browser like I have right here and with a few clicks you can just take notes from websites. In this case both apps have web clippers so they do their job just fine. And if you're trying to learn things and take notes in a more visual way, in Obsidian you can create a canvas which are really good to draw things like I have right here. I can just grab the pen and start drawing whatever I want. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. And you can also link notes like I've explained before. And I'm currently using this to save thumbnails from YouTube videos so if I go here uh, I have this, which are some of the thumbnails that I've saved just to get inspiration from. Of course, I'm not gonna steal them. So if you want to create a canvas in the same notes, in the same app you take notes on, sorry, Obsidian is a better choice because Notion doesn't allow this. So if you wanted to, you could just go to a browser and create canvas there, but I just find it more comfortable to use it here. And these are some other features that might be important for you. So we have right here the mobile support. So in my case, I've only used the Notion app in my phone. So I, I don't really know how the Obsidian app works i know you have to first sync your obsidian vault you have for example in your computer and then use a service like google drive icloud or you can also pay for the subscription here in, in obsidian to link the notes between your devices so yeah i don't really know how the obsidian app works but the notion app works really really well yeah, i've only had a few problems with my old phone because i have this new phone but with the old one that i have that was like six years old the app was very very slow so the next feature here is the collaboration so the notion you can collaborate with different people but with obsidian i tried to look for some alternatives for this and i only found a website that i just don't remember the name but it just doesn't look that useful at least in my case i don't know i've never tried so if you have uh, just leave it comment down below so next we have the offline access if you don't know about this in notion you can't use your files offline so yeah if you don't have internet or something like that you just won't be able to use your files and obsidian everything just stays in your computer so you can access to it whenever you want then we have the graph view and the bug links which are features that are only available on obsidian so it wins here to be 100 percent honest I, I don't really use the graph view like this is the graph view. Looks like really crazy, like I'm a very intelligent man, but actually these are all just random. Oh, look at this picture. But I actually, I never come here and start looking at the graph like, oh, look at my daily notes. Don't really use it that often. Maybe I would use it if I wanted to look for notes in a certain tag. So I can go to tag right here and just look for a tag. Let's go to guitar basics. 
I don't know what's here. Okay, it's taking a little while. Oh, here they are. <laughs> Three nodes. Oh my god. And then you also have the backlinks, which are like the graph view, but you have the, the backlinks like in a text behind the node. I don't think I have the backlinks right here. Oh, oh yeah, I actually have backlinks. So if I go here, I click this number that is applying. I think these are all the backlinks. Um, I, I I don't really use the backlinks. I mean, I use them, but I just don't have an example to show you right here. So I'm just going to put a screenshot so you can understand better. So next, we have the file format, which in this case, we have Markdown for Obsidian. So this is really good because if you want to use your notes in some other text editor with Notion, you just can't do that. But you also have the option to export the files to PDF. So maybe if you just want to download some files, you have that option. So for the storage in Notion, you have only cloud option available. So if something happens to Notion, maybe it doesn't work for a few minutes, you just won't be able to access your notes. And then you have Obsidian where you have the cloud or you can also use your computer and store all the files there. And we're really surprised the two apps are databases. Notion allows you to create tables, boards, galleries, calendar views with multiple properties to choose like tags, checkboxes, buttons, dates. With Obsidian, you can use data view, which is applying to have tables and lists, but I just don't like it that much, to be honest. I use it to order notes from the same topics, but other than that, I just don't find it as good as the Notion tables and databases. I guess it just depends on the type of user you are. You can also create Canva boards with the Camon ploy in Obsidian, but it's only useful if you use it for simple things like organizing notes. So Notion definitely wins here because the amount of customization you can make to the databases is just really good to manage projects, tasks, and keep track of multiple things at the same time. Okay, so after years of using these apps and many others, I decided to, instead of only sticking to just one app, I would use both. And honestly, I don't really like this approach because I would like to have everything in a single app, but I feel like this is the best workflow I found for myself. So there's no real winner here because it all depends on your needs. In my case, I use Obsidian to learn things and take notes, save notes quickly, and where I also journal from time to time. I just find it so easy to just press a key and quickly save notes and then I can just sort them by tag with data view and I use notion to manage my projects or databases like keeping track of my video editing clients or organizing my youtube channel that's where I write the scripts come up with ideas where I have my calendar to plan when I'm going to post videos although I haven't posted in a while but here we are I can also make a video about my obsidian setup so if you're interested in that let me know down in the comments I hope you all find this video helpful if so like and subscribe if you haven't yet and if by any chance you're using windows 11 here's a video going through all the apps that I use to stay more focused without getting distracted.